My name is Peter Berghofer and I'm a Toowoomba based artist. I work and live on Guyabal and Jarawa land, which is where this project takes place. Today's workshop is brought to you by Youth Connect and Toowoomba Regional Council. In this workshop, we are going to create a series of mini bowls from air dry clay. I use clay in all of my art making. I like to make ceramic objects that are both sculptural and functional. Today, we'll look at making functional ceramics. Firstly, you'll need a work surface. I create on this circular piece of board called a bat, but you could use anything similar, an old placemat, an off cut of timber, or even just directly onto a table or bench that can get a little messy. Next, you'll need a few tools. I use this needle tool that I picked up from a local discount store, but you can easily replace that with a skewer, toothpick, or even a sharp pencil. I also use this rolling pin from the same discount store, but you could replace that with piece of piping or even a bottle. Acrylic paint of any kind and some paint brushes are also handy, but this is optional. You'll also need a small pot of water and a palette you can paint on. I'm using an old container lid and a jar. Lastly, and most importantly, you'll need some clay. When I make my work, I use a specialty clay that gets fired in a kiln. Air dry clay doesn't need to be hardened in an oven. It just sets on its own after about 24 hours. But please remember that this clay is not food or liquid safe, meaning that you cannot eat or drink from your creations made from this workshop. Let's get started. We're going to use the pinch pot method to make our bowls today. Start by breaking off a small piece of clay. To stop the rest of your clay from drying out, always wrap it up with glad wrap or a plastic bag. It can also help to store it in an airtight container. Start to knead the clay back and forth between your hands. Loosen and warm it up. If it feels too dry, add a small touch of water. Then roll it into a ball. Stick your thumb into the ball to create a hole. Stop when the hole reaches about halfway down the ball. Try not to go too far down. While your thumb is in the hole, use your index and middle finger with your thumb to create the walls of your bowl. Slowly pinch upwards and slightly outwards. Move the clay around in a circle as you do this. Use the support of your palm to stop the clay from going out too wide. Once the walls of your bowl are to your desired thickness, stop and press the bottom of the bowl gently onto your board or table. This will create a flat base. If you are having trouble, don't worry. It takes some practice. If you need to, roll it back into a ball and start again. Take some time to work on the rim of your bowl, thinning it out a little. Pick it up and play around until you get a shape you're happy with. If you see cracks showing at any point in the process, smooth them out with a little bit of water. That's our first bowl done. Try a bigger bowl this time. Do this by breaking off a slightly larger bit of clay. How many bowls can you make? How large can you go? What different shape bowls can you make? Perhaps some with taller walls or even a wider, open shape. Once you have made all the bowls you like, set them aside to firm up a little. Once they have firmed up but are still damp, you might like to add some decoration. We can do this by rolling out a slab of clay about half a centimetre thick. Use your needle tool to cut out some decorative shapes. When you've decided where you want your shapes to go, scratch the underside of the shape and the bowl with your needle tool. Add a little bit of water to these areas. Press the shape onto the bowl and blend it down. What else could you do to the clay to add decoration? You could try pressing other objects into your bowl to make prints or even scratch in designs. I cut out holes in this bowl, something I like to do in my own work. Now it's time to leave your bowls to completely dry. This usually takes about 24 hours. Once dry, it's now time to add some colour and pattern if you like. When I make my ceramics, I use glazes to add colour. But today, with air dry clay, we will use acrylic paint. When I make new work, I like to pick a colour scheme. Today, I'm using blues and pink. What colours do you like together? And what patterns do you find interesting? I'm working with checks, stripes and plain colours. I often find colour and pattern inspiration from everyday things, like on architecture and fashion. Look around, what inspires you? Once your bowls are painted and dried, play with them. What arrangements look good together? Where will you put them in your home? Perhaps they might hold a few trinkets too. And that's it, you've created a series of mini air dry clay bowls. If you're interested in finding out more about my art, head to www.peterberghofer.com or at Peter Berghofer on Instagram. And why don't you jump online and show us what you've made from today's workshop with the hashtag homeprojecttr. Happy creating!